For this, you can build any kind of hairstyle you can imagine. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are going to make hairs in a very special way. We're going to use this kind of basic mesh to build up our hairstyle first. And then we turn it to be curved. And then we turn it to be a hair curve. And then that just using geometry node, make detail of it so using my hair node V1 plus. But this idea of turning mesh to hairs is not limited to the hair node I built. Even you don't download this, if you are ever try to use the new hair system from Blender, you might find it is a very good concept. Let's take a look at this first. So it's quite simple. And then we just turn it to be this. It's quite detailed. And the reference using this photo that I browsing on the internet is an app called Little Red Book. It's like a Chinese Instagram. So I saw this hairstyle and I think it's a good example for this technique. Okay, so you can have a look. Something I wanted to say for this few video I do for the hairs. The main reason I make all this hair node systems tutorial is not to sell the node I built. It's I want to show a message that is geometry node and the new hair systems. It's kind of like an inevitable thing in the future of Blender. For everyone using this new hair system in Blender, you cannot do it without geometry node. Whether it's you build your own node or you buy it from other creator, you have to learn geometry node. Because if you use the old hair system, that will be fine like now. But in a very quick time, the new hair system will do much, much more things like a real time physics and real time like a wind blowing simulation, all sort of things. That is the old particle system will never pick up. So again, I will screenshot the most important hair node in this example in the end of this video. So if you are not going to download this in my Patreon or Gumroad, you can build it from there. So let's start to make this beautiful hair. So let's quick take a look of this hairstyle. As you may see from the color, we have this front part, the top part, this too, and also some of the extra hairs. So what we're going to do is using mesh to build basic look, and then we turn it to curve and turn it to hairs. Let's bring this model to the rest positions. If you are also using skeleton model, I suggest this panel over here so you can easily switch between post mode and the rest mode. As before, we have root object. If you didn't know how to build this root object, I suggest you to watch the older video. We need to use a UV sphere. And let's bring it to the animal. Bring this sphere up. Fit the hair. From the image, we know the center is a little bit through the front. Let's turn this to somewhere you feel good. Okay, and change the shape a little to fit. Scope this a little bit. So now we want to use this sphere to cut out front part into the animal. Before that, we wanted to separate this center point to be several points for each face. Scale this down and bring it up a little. Make a loop cut over here. Let's bring it up a little. Okay, so now we delete this center point. Just delete that, delete vertex. So now we cut it out. Then we select the area that we want. Use this. Like this. Then Shift D and B. E. Separate it. So now we got the extra object. And let's turn off this original one and go to the extra one. That's for our front of our hair. Give a little sculpting. Before we do anything further, something like that. Then just go to this object, go to the edit mode. So now we select all this edge. Okay. 
and again we separate them shift D and then separate now we got this so just turn this to curve then turn it to be like this hair curve so it will be very huge first you can set the radius using the hair note I built so we just set this here and if we take a look at this carefully the root is wider the tips is smaller but this one we will see is the opposite so which is mean something wrong with the direction of this hair when we do the next step we will see some mistake so let's make a test of this so we select this click on this root then we just attach to surface okay so now when we brush it we will see something is wrong so when we brush it this part the root is correct but this one it's the opposite of what we want in some situation you will find your root in the opposite direction that's depend on how you scale your model sometimes you scale it to be the opposite or depend on the normal of the model just don't worry about this we can fix that now let's delete this wrong one then just use this again so now this is a curve let's go to Edmo, and we know this one is the opposite so that's switch direction of this turn it to be the hair curve then again we set the radius so now we can see the radius of the hair is correct and then let's attach it to the root object and now let's try to brush it and so select on this hair let's go to the scope mode now we have this make a duplicate of this just to save so now we can do whatever we want with this if you like you can make more hair you know in between or something like that and you just brush it but since we have some note let's use note to make some basic adjustment for this let's create a whole new node tree and i just name it to be set up f or front so i will put most of my node inside of this and then i can try to see how many points it have show point so that is our point but it's pretty low so maybe i would like to make it higher so let's resample it let's make it to be like uh, 30 like this hide the point have some children root object some change of it or we can use the incensing and use the rotation and let's make some very here curry hairs and some incensing and some children that's what we got for right now and let's let me take a look at the reference okay so maybe we can give a row now we can go to the scope mode brush it a little bit to be more same as the reference can use this snake hook grab where we want the hair to be and of course can make more hairs hurry here too much that is good enough for this moment and let's make some basic hair for the other part and we come back for final detail to make top of the head it had like a both side but we can do is just make one side and we mirror that let's create a new sphere uv sphere and then go to the animal bring it up make it smaller 
take this. So this part should be point to the bow bow we will going to make later. Just imagine that and just change the shape of it. Something like this and we just go to the sculpting. Bring some more detail. So just make it like a half. Don't cross the middle line. And also keep in mind of this loop when we select this line later. Uh, it's a little bit matter, so just careful about that. Best if this edge is end with the same loop. And also careful about your root object. Don't cross the root object. Something like this. So it's like the half side of your hair that we're going to grow. And then this to be whatever you can remember. Okay, then that's duplicate of this. So let's go to the animal. So now again, we try to separate this point, but you might think you just make a loop cut for it, but you cannot loop cut for the very center of a sphere. So again, we just uh, select this and make it smaller and bring it up. Then we make a loop cut for this. Okay. Then we can delete the center point. So now we got something like this. We wanted to cut it out whatever is inside of this model, right? So let's use the Boolean modifier and let's pick the model we have. So the model I have is this. So that's then that. So that's the, we got this. So now we just apply this modifier. Okay, so just hit apply. And after that, go to the Edmo. Now that is where it left. Just pick this part. Pick all this. That should be here. Okay, so make sure it end with this. It doesn't go inside. Make a duplicate of this. Okay, and P to separate it. So now we got this left. That is for our hair see this then let's make a duplicate of this again just to save after you really know how to do this you can delete the rest of this when you are not so familiar you just duplicate and you can go back to check later now we got this that's turned it to be curve and you can put the set radius before you turn it to be a hair so it will not be so big at first. So let's try that and let's select this and turn it to be hair curve. So actually the root should be over somewhere over here, not at the top of this. This should be the tips of the hair. So let's go back to the last step before we turn it to be hair. Invert that, switch direction. Now let's turn it to be a hair again. So you will see there's still some part is wrong. There's like one, two, three, right? Normally it will not work so complicated like this. Maybe it's something wrong with the volume modifier. So it become like that. So I decided to make some change for the note. So let's go back to the hair curve again. Okay, so now it's curved, but when we use set radius, note um, you will not show because it's still a regular curve not a hair curve so although you have radius it will not show the thickness so i decided to make a curve to mesh inside of this set radius so you can do the same with your note or you can just go update the newest version of the ctm v1 plus i will make a switch
So now we can turn it to be mesh temporary and to check the direction of the hair is correct or not. So now we see this is wrong, right? So we just go back to the edit mode and hit L and select this and switch direction. So now it's all correct. And let's just turn it to be a hair. But you will get a hair over here. That's because we have to switch it back to the not mesh one. So like that and turn it to be a hair. So now everything is all correct. And just attach it to the root object. Control P and attach. Okay, so now we use a mirror note. So that's how we got like a bow side. And also let's put it here. Pick the root object. Let's make a setup below. And then just make a new one and make a setup. So we will put a note over here later. So let's try to make it like a thicker first. But I want to set the radius again. Let's go to the setup and so make children. I will not want to go to the X direction because I want to keep the middle line so for the other part I can keep a little bit stronger and I don't want to go to too high as well then use these children let's go to the scope mode again just give uh, some brush now we can add some of the hair in between to make it tighter somewhere it's not perfect just use this slide grab okay, so we can always fix that from the image we know some hair is going from this area so let's bring it over here so you don't have to very worry like the shaping part you can fix that later sometimes turn off the setup just check what is inside there might be some mistake here or so something like this just delete that some here let's go inside of the head so select to this and just select some of this and bring it up to the same level of the, your head and use this snack hook bring it out to the center of your shape okay so that is good and also hold this part again also bring them just be sure you select everything and use snake hook good about the snake hook is it only calculate the tips you can hook that so it will not affect the, the rest of the hair about the center line since we use this mirror node now we can just slide 
one side and just break it up so it's very easy to do this but just keep in mind don't make it too big when you see in the rendering because the hair even thinner in rendering views this shape looks pretty nice this way it's very easy to make something like a very specific shape before it's very difficult you, you really tight your hair looks like that and then let's talk about this bao bao and that is even cooler so now let's use a tourist so let's make a smaller and again don't scale this without the atom mode because when you scale this it will affect the radius of your hair later if you really want to scale this just make sure after you scale you apply the scale so the final scale over here will be one but uh, as I say just go to the other mode to do this and scale this bring it up and we want to make it like a baker auto s can give a little shape to make a more like a what we desire so select this loop and then just bring it down like that okay so now let's think about this this thing is a ring it didn't have an end or a beginning which is we need to cut it out for the root and the tips so the root should be like over here attached to the head so that's lead uh, some part this area at the mole and let's delete this part Okay, so now it's open we will see here as the root and here as the tips okay so we can extend this to deeper so i would like to duplicate this okay, and, and hide this good one select where we want so auto shift and click is there a better way to select this if anyone know in the comment section okay we select all this and just make sure okay and shift D and then just uh, separate the selection so now we got this look at this again and then let's turn it to be curve then set radius use geometry node air node and go to this that we just built to mesh to see is that what we want so what we want is exactly the opposite of this sometimes it's just like that just uh, have to revert that so let's go to the atom mode and everything switch direction okay so this is what we want and let's invert that to be here but before that just use this to mesh to the zero and then just invert that to the hair curve and that's what we want and attach to the root object jump deeper because i forgot to calculate the thickness of this hair so when you do the your mesh just to be sure you have all this extension so like that okay so make your hair like that extend close to your head but uh not to worry about that i can use brush to fix that so now let's try to use a mirror note so when i use the mirror note um i will find some mistake because the center of this bao bao hair is over here so actually i need to apply this location and make it to be the other side so apply location so it will be fixed that's the mirror and root object this root object doesn't show too much but i just make sure 
the object that we mirror the root is really stay on the root object. Try to make it thicker. So make a setup. Bow bow. Okay, so children. Once you brush it more, your center is like a go out of the... So that's your snake hook to bring it back. Okay, so now we have something like that. Let's make these extra hairs on the side and on the back. So this we just um, create a hair. So create empty hair. Just name this to be bow bow x extra then we just go to the scope mode and just randomly add some hair it's not such big deal we just add one hair and we set this radius first okay and make a shorter then just add some more and we just brush a little bit so don't really need to worry about this too much first just for showing that we know we have some here that we need to work on later and also add some at the back for one side and we use the mirror note for later we basically have all the set for this hairstyle and then what we need to do just give some material and make final detail for everything just give material from this one and set material let's go to the cycle so we see the material and we create a new material okay and just set this to be that principal hair shader black or whatever color you want then we can just copy this modifier for other hair just select everything and the last one for the one have the material note and copy to select so now every part have this material let's make some final detail that is the most important part just make it more alive let's do it for the front first and just go to the setup and see what else we can do about it try this grow maybe i would like it, like it to be a little bit longer so i can use this grow let's make some noise for the hair noise offset so let's bring the amount a little bit less and like that the power go lower also do with some other hair go to the other hair setup this one is the top and let's go inside of this to control the fall off but before that let's make a duplicate of that and just to control this this here let's go here so we can make a layer okay and let's use a join geometry and we duplicate this to layer 2 over here so now we just bring the whole here to so now if we hide this first layer we will see we have only the original here which is 
about here so we can use this to make uh, some other stuff so let's give some space and i can use uh, path let's make it a little bit and we can make some children for this just duplicate from here and put it over here but now we got some like an extra string and we can even make it to be a, like a curry here Maybe I need to brush a little bit. Okay, so for this children, there is like a function only for V1 Plus, this clamp, and also this lens trim. If you make a children, they are actually the same lens. So it's like a Artboard. but uh, if you use this lens trim it will like uh, trim these children to be like a pointy shape so the original hair will be in the middle so the children will like a uh, smooth out the uh, lens and depend on how strong you want it to be and this clamp just like uh, relax the fold off these two is uh, very useful Okay, then let's move on to the other part. Maybe let's go to this bow bow. Let's see in the render mode. I think we do need some extra here. Go bit and add more here. So just add some extra here to make it more random. Somewhere is more loose. There is something I want to show. When we go to the pose mode and we try to animate or pose our model, you see the hair is using the mirror note. It will get something weird. So what we need to do is apply this. But before you apply, make sure you pretty much have all set up your hair. And at that point, you can apply that. Okay, so both of this reattach this hair to the root select this one and okay so the root should be the lighter one and attach okay. and again also this one and the root and control P attach to surface so these two and also this extra hair and attach to the root Let's post this. It looks fine, but uh, actually there's one more problem. You will see the noise. It will be moving. So the problem about that is this noise, the noise inside factor of this noise is using the position of your hair. So when you move your head, the position of this vector will be moved together so that's why i make a note outside of here so this og post we want to return down this original post so let's use this note for that original post but uh, where we going to use is not over here it's make a new geometry note and use over here set original post and put it right on the top especially before this surface deform because we want to capture the post before it deform deform means whatever you are making your models post so do it before that let's use this okay and now let's go to the setup use the name attribute and you will find you now have this og post and that's attached to that so now when you post the noise will be stable it will not like a uh, keep moving so which is mean all this the one that we used before tiny little hair can make it bigger 
so this one we don't really want it to move when we move the head so let's plug it to here so now we rotate our head it will be stayed like that but of course if you're going to apply the whole hair setup you don't have to worry about this because once you apply it will be written down so all this actually have some this noise here so let's use that So now when we move our head, the noise will no longer moving. So now I'm do something for the extra hair. Make some curry here first. Set the vision. I have already set the vision object. If you didn't know, just go watch the first video about this. So that is without the collision, and that's with the collision. This node is called transform only in the V1 plus. Make it a little bit bigger and rotate it. That is the final result for this hair. The next video, we will talk about how to color hair by drawing or by using image. See you in the next video. Bye bye.